read this 365 day devotional titled into his marvelous light this is brought to you by a peculiar people with elizabeth as a as the anchor this month's theme is my god who made me understanding our relationship with god and experiencing him on a personal level cannot happen without understanding him as the creator as the source of all things as the one who made us and has a purpose for us join us and be blessed today's bible text is taken from psalms 1 All the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with mockers, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do, but not the wicked. They are like waterless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. For the Lord watches over the path of the godly. But the path of the wicked leads to destruction. The verse of emphasis today is verse 3. They are like trees planted along the river bank bearing fruits each season, their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. Psalms, Psalms, I enjoy reading David's work, his writings. I enjoy reading his conversations with God, his meditations and all his questions and thoughts. He's someone who knew God even before Jesus came and, you know, gave us access to the Father and all that. He was someone who had a personal relationship with God and knew God, God's ways, what God's li- what God likes and what God doesn't like and how to get back to God, how to find his way back to God, even when he made mistakes. In this particular scripture, Psalms 1, we see him talking about two different categories of people and in in two different ways their lives following two different paths and you wonder is it not God that made everything is it not God that made everyone why will it say the path of the wicked leads to destruction they will be condemned at the time of judgment they are like water chaff scattered by the wind like when when you read these things it's it raises questions in your in your heart god has good plans for us god has good plans for us when david was talking he said, he said and they prosper in all they do do you know what it means to prosper in all you do everything you lay your hands on turns to gold everything you lay your hand on goes through when you pursue you overtake and you conquer every single time every single time and if you look at the life of david you will see that that presence of god following him in all his endeavors reflected all round all round before david goes on in any um, battle goes on any battle mission you see him seeking the face of god should i pursue should i overtake and when god says go 
he always he always he always comes through god always comes through to the end that's what the life of the godly should be like if we stay in god if we remain in him if we follow his instructions if we follow the principles laid out in his word if we allow him to teach us if we allow him to direct us if we don't move far from him if we don't withdraw from whatever relationship that we have built with him if we continue to follow in his footsteps we will radiate his glory we will stand here as ambassadors of his kingdom even on earth we are not meant to look forward to the hope of salvation at the end of time alone but even while we are here on earth there is a process already taking place we are already part of his kingdom and we should identify as such in every way the book of psalms starts with all oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with mockers that was the first verse and starting this this scripture like that it's it's very uplifting all the joys there are joys there's pleasure in being god's own there is pleasure in identifying with him it says they are like trees planted along the river bank bearing fruit each season God made you and he has beautiful plans for you and he wants you to be like a tree planted along the river bank he wants you to be a tree that her leaves never wither he wants you to prosper in all you do he wants you to flourish in the land that he has planted you if you will follow closely listen to his instructions and follow through even in the midst of the storm you will find peace even in the midst of chaos you will find this anchor that is Jesus this anchor that is God being there for you all through i pray god will grant us understanding of his word and help us to apply this to our lives every day heavenly father we say thank you for giving us this opportunity to learn at your feet we say thank you for interpreting your word in our hearts we say thank you for the salvation of our souls and for continuing to lead us in the right path that we should go lord we ask that even as we have heard your word today we will not only be hearers but we will be to us we will live as you want us to live we will not take counsel from the wicked we won't we won't hang out with people that you are against we won't be comfortable in situations that you are not comfortable in lord we ask that you help us to remain pure in every way in our hearts in our relationships with people in our conversations that you help us to continue to stand firm in you and all the promises that you have made with us will come to pass in our lives in Jesus name Thank you Lord for answering prayers we ask that you continue to stay with us you go with us glory on our adoration be to your holy name in Jesus name we pray amen thank you for listening to this podcast episode don't forget to share have a nice day bye